The Dallas police chief vented his frustration that the gunman charged with murdering two Methodist Dallas employees was allowed to be inside the hospital. Nestor Hernandez was on parole from the state prisons for aggravated robbery. He was wearing an electronic ankle monitor at the time. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice granted him permission to be with his girlfriend for the birth of their baby Saturday morning. Fox 4's Sean Rabb live with more on the hospital shooting investigation. Sean. Yeah, and Chief Garcia really upset that someone, he says, as violent with a history like this man should have even been out on parole. He doesn't think he should have been out on parole, let alone on an ankle monitor. By the way, the Dallas Police Department now taking over this double capital murder investigation inside Methodist Hospital. And the Methodist Hospital Police Chief says if, in fact, Nestor Hernandez was given permission by his parole officer, no one ever notified Methodist. The deadly Saturday inside Methodist Hospital's labor and delivery area began about 10.20 Saturday morning when Nestor Hernandez entered the hospital room where his girlfriend, described in the affidavit as Witness Via Toro, had given birth October 21st. Hernandez, a man with a history of violent crimes and with an ankle monitor, was granted permission by the state pardons and parole office to go to Methodist. The police department had no forewarning uh, that this person was being monitored by ankle monitor, um, anything about his criminal history. The affidavit says Hernandez was acting strangely and accused via Toro of infidelity. The affidavit continues he began searching the room to see if anyone else was there, then produced a handgun from his pants and struck Viatoro in the head multiple times with the weapon. The affidavit continues that he told her, we are both going to die today, adding, whoever comes in this room is going to die with us. As a nurse, Jacqueline Pakua from Ghana, West Africa, entered the room, she was ambushed. Methodist Hospital Police Sergeant Robert Rangel was down the hall for an unrelated matter when he and a staffer heard what sounded like a gunshot in a nearby room. Another hospital employee, Katie Flowers, 63, heard the shot fired, looked into the room, and the suspect fired again from the doorway, striking Flowers in the hallway. Sergeant Rangel witnessed the second employee being shot and took cover and called for help on his radio. Engaging Hernandez, preventing him from leaving that hospital room, shooting him in the leg, Chief Garcia opened with his frustration that a violent criminal would be out and about on an ankle monitor. This isn't about being on parole. What this is about is a violent criminal that was on ankle monitor and, assume, and us thinking that in the way, some way, shape or form that's a level of accountability because it is not. There's a whole lot here that we still have to learn. First of all, probably a parole officer, and it probably happens more than we know who gives this kind of permission. It's one way of, you know, kind of managing a client and you're giving them some incentive to do the right thing. So, so that's first, there's somebody who will want to talk to a parole officer following this particular incident. Uh, you can also imagine that Robert Rangel, that sergeant, is really the hero because he had the presence of mind to engage this guy who reloaded his weapon uh, as he stood in a standoff here with Sergeant Rangel. At the same time, Rangel is talking to other Methodist police officers who are coming to his aid. So he was the real hero here. And throughout all of this ordeal, that newborn baby in that hospital room in that hospital room where the shots are being fired, both into that room and out.